Cold day here in Canada, minus 22 degrees Canadian Celsius. I don't know what that is in uh, American, but I thought it'd be a good time to show you how these saws start. I've been using a bunch of different saws. We've been sawing up firewood and saw logs. I've been using the Echo, this uh, China Cologne, 372 China Cologne. Don't hate on it too much. I saw on the, uh, on the internet, somebody said, uh, when you're buying those clones, you're supporting uh, trademark and copyright and uh, IP and all this kind of stuff. Apparently the patent ran out on these or the, uh, yeah, it'd be the patent. It'd be the patent, I guess, right? Uh, apparently apparently the patent ran out, ran out on these. It's only good for 20 years or whatever. I don't know if that's internet lore or not. But anyway, I use it. The MS261C that everybody seems to like, including myself. Husky 390 XP that I haven't started in six or eight months. And the big still steel 880, um, the monster saw. It's been sitting for, oh boy, since the spring. Spring? Yeah. I don't know, we shot a video at some point milling something, but. Prescott, it would have been. Yeah, it's like this, you know, we milled up some butternut over there or, or some chestnut. Ash, something. Yeah, anyway, so that hasn't run in a long time. So I have a pretty good idea how they start on a decent day. Let's see how they start right now. Because boy, she, boy, she's cold. Let's see. The Echo 590 Timberwolf. The CS 590 Timberwolf. This saw sat for about three years. I busted the handle on it. Sat for three years. And then I just got it going the other day. It was working really well. And then yesterday, it sort of started running not so good. So I'm thinking with this saw, we're looking at three pulls minus 22 I know you're supposed to start like this nobody likes this drop thing right oh, oh. Oh. saw they take a heck of a beating except for the handle I broke it it's plastic um, but I beat on it pretty hard for the last I bought this seven years ago trashed it pretty hard um, abused it like I've used everything else still works for me China clone that's amazing so this is a 372 clone it is so much lighter than this CS 590 man like crazy the difference in weight that's the one thing about the echoes they're a really solid machine. They're heavier, right? So this 372 clone, it, everything on it is basically the same. I busted the recoil on the Chinesium one, and I put this actual Husky uh, recoil on it, and it works pretty good. When this saw starts, usually runs like garbage for 15, 20 seconds. Um, I'm going to say six pulls. Okay, it's cold. The first camera just died on us. So I'll see if I can get this going again. That was three pulls. I said six, right? That's better than I thought. saw actually works pretty well I'm pretty pretty happy with it a guy Jerry built that for me he called me up uh, he was in the States he says Louie I want to build you a chainsaw so he built me that saw very nice I like it got the uh, it's got the husky buyer on it now which one are we gonna go with this little MS 211 carbureted 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 of course it has a carb but it's the Mtronic 
old school 390 XP carbed. I don't think they're a, well, is the new 881, is that an 881 or an 880? 880, I think. MS 880, so it's got the Mtronic, I guess. I think that's what that means. I don't know. I don't know that much about them. So this little puppy, MS 211. Uh, I like this. It's a good limbing saw if we're working in the cedar and whatnot. There's no sense dragging big saws around. Full choke on this little baby. I'm going to say six pulls. Oh, this is tough, so eight pulls. Six to eight. Starting them on a cold day with, I know, I'm supposed to stop it, break on, I know, I, but I find that they start easier if they can, if they're not fighting it, uh, they get to ramp up a little bit more. 261, my favorite saw, taking the internet over, everybody seems to love this one. Um, I really dig it, I'll just make everybody happy. Oh, what I, I'm going to say for, for that's one, two, three. Love that little saw. Chain's a little loose. I got it hung up in a tree. We've gone through all those. 390 XP. I haven't started this saw in, oh geez, I don't even know. This is six, eight months, maybe a year. This is a long time. It was completely out of gas. I had, I had to put new gas in it. No idea. These do have the uh, decompressors. I don't use them. Uh, some people say they get sort of jammed with carbon, so I don't bother using them. I love this saw. This saw has spent most of its life on this mill, wide open, half an hour, 45 minutes a cut, hey, some of them, brutal. 15 to half an hour, maybe. Uh, I don't even know if there's fuel in the carb. Maybe it leaked in there. I'm gonna say eight pulls, All right? This one I'm holding on to, and I'm gonna pull it slow so I don't rip my arm off. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, don't do that to me. Oh, here we go. Maybe, maybe use a decompressor. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try the decompressor. She's pretty darn cold. Hear that? Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh, Nelly. Yes. Oh, ho, oh, oh. Train brakes on. In the snow. Oh, yeah, baby. What was that three? Kind of. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, Nelly. That's my favorite saw for big wood. I got a 36 inch bar, 37 inch bar on this. East coast trees, right? Yeah, I know, not real big ones, but sometimes when we take the big stuff down, like a big oak, or if we're doing some live edge stuff and I need to uh, take an end off, that girl just saves a lot of time. I don't know what the count was on that. I'll post it on there, it was a lot. So this is the Steel 880 MS, uh, MS880 Magnum. I bought this at g &S Farm Equipment in Cobden. Uh, Scott's a great guy to deal with. This is a bear to start. It's gonna be, I haven't turned this over. We haven't turned this over like we said in months. I'd hit the decompressor on it. It makes everything a lot nicer. I'm just gonna do one of these. You know what, I'm gonna put it on the ground. But you need to put like a, like a sled pull on it. Oh, I know. So uh, this saw, 
It's a steady uh, three, four pull saw, but it's been a few months and it was empty. So I'm thinking eight. Oh, yeah. I gotta do this. Okay. So I'm thinking uh, eight pulls. Let's see what happens. One, two, three. Holy moly. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no. That's what the button pushed. Wow. Nelly. Here it rolling up my sleeves. Yeah. This is what I hate about steel chainsaws. I know you're gonna blame this on me, and it is my fault. <laughs> I friggin' hate that. Those things, look, at, that's what I love about the Huskies. They're easy for guys like with my uh, mental acuity. And uh, yeah, yeah, I might not even put that in. So it puts the lid down and it turns it and then it backs it off and then it puts it in again and then it does one of those. See, look, at, see, and I did that. I did it. Yeah, so it has to lock in. It's because the black thing has to that, lock in. It has to line up with that, with that mark, right? Yeah. That's where it says locked. But when I did it with my gloves on, this is what I don't like about these saws. Anybody who owns one of these has done this. Back it off. Yeah, it's because look. Oh, it didn't do it's it. It's because there's this black knob right here, Dad. Look at this thing. That's what pushes it up. So oh, it has to be. Yeah, see? There you go. It's when you have gloves on. Put it down. That should be it. Okay, okay stupid.